they tell me that people should like, people should subscribe, people should help me out. So come on, like, subscribe, just press the button. It's easy to do. It doesn't do a thing for you, it does everything for me. Imagine that you did this for me. So just do it. Like, subscribe, subscribe, like, like, subscribe, subscribe, like, 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 or subscribe. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so Jim Jordan, someone asked, what about Jim Jordan? What's going on with him? So I thought, well, let's just pull a few cards and see what they'll tell us about this guy, Jim Jordan. So, of course, I did a little, you know, checking up on him. I wikied him. I wikied Jim Jordan. I sure did. And I'll tell you what I found out. I've got it right here. I'm just going to bring it up on my computer and read it to you. So, 1964, James Daniel Jordan was born in Champaign County, Ohio. That's February 17th, so he's a sign, the sign of Aquarius. He was a former collegiate uh, wrestler and wrestling coach, and his wife Polly started dating when he was th when they were when he was 13 and she was 14. Ah, and uh, they were introduced by her brothers. They have now four children and two grandchildren. In 1982, he graduated from Graham High School, Graham High School, and he won uh, state championships in all four years. Then he enrolled at the University of Wisconsin Madison and was a two-time uh, NCAA Division I wrestling champion. I really don't know what that is. Now, 1985 and 1986, he won the NCAA championship matches. He graduated with a BA in economics and then earned a master's in education plus a Juris Doctor from Iowa State, but never took the bar exams. 1988, he failed to make the U.S. Olympic wrestling team. And 1987 to 1995, he was an assistant wrestling coach with Ohio. Now, 1994, Jordan was elected to the Ohio House of Representatives, eventually for three terms. And 2000, Jordan was elected to the Ohio Senate and opposes abortion and federal funding and to Planned uh, Parenthood. Hmm. Okay, 2006, he became the Republican primary. He became the Republican primary. I guess he won the Republican primary for the fourth district after the incumbent retired. And Jordan won and was reelected in 2008. He was reelected in 2012, 2014, 16, 18, and 20. And by then, back to 2007, he became the U.S. Representative for Ohio's fourth congressional district in North Central and Western Ohio. 2015, Jordan founded the Conservative House Freedom Caucus. 2017, Jordan sought to discredit the FBI and special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 election. Then, um, 2018, Ohio State University began an independent investigation against the team doctor, against the team doctor for inappropriate behavior with eight wrestlers. Some said Jordan was aware but did not respond, even turned a blind eye to the abuse. The doctor's locker was locker. The doctor's locker, the team doctor, his locker was next to Jordan's, who spent so much time in the locker room. He was awarded a King of the Sauna certificate. Um, no, you know what that was? The King of the Sauna certificate was awarded to the team members spending the most time in the sauna. This whole thing just sounds terrible. Uh, the doctor later committed suicide. Jordan refused to cooperate with investigators and described the accusations the accusers, rather, as pawns in a political plot. A friend said at the end of the day, he, Jordan, is absolutely lying, saying some friend, is absolutely lying. He doesn't uh, know what was going on. Hmm. The doctor's brother testified before the, before the Ohio House Civil Justice Committee that Jordan called him, the brother of the doctor, crying and groveling and begging him to go against his doctor brother, describing Jordan as a coward. And then uh, 2018, Anderson Cooper asked whether he had ever heard Trump tell a lie. And he said, I have not, and nothing comes to mind. Jordan led efforts to shut down the special counsel's investigation. He's never heard Trump 
tell a lie. I love that old saying, if his lips are moving, he's lying, Jim Jordan, and maybe you too. Now, 2019, the House Judiciary Chair criticized Jordan for using the anti-Semitic messaging, huh, for using anti-Semitic messaging by spelling the 2020 candidate's name with a dollar sign in place of an S for the first letter of his name on Twitter. Um, apparently, uh, that's sad. He was also the ranking member of the House Oversight Committee. 2020, he became the ranking member of the House Judiciary Committee and tried to discredit investigations into Russian interference, staged a sit-in to prevent an impeachment inquiry, and after Joe Biden won, he supported lawsuits to invalidate the election results, plus voted not to certify the Electoral College results. He presented a video montage taking statements by reporters out of context, creating the false impression that the reporters were characterizing violent protests as peaceful. 2021, Jordan voted against the American Rescue Plan. Jordan cast a vote to prevent the certificate, the certification of the Electoral, Electoral College in at least one state, and he voted to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election the day after the storming of the Capitol. Number 45 awarded him the Presidential Medal of Freedom in a closed-door ceremony. So that's our buddy, that's our guy, Jim Jordan, and uh, we'll see what else the cards will tell us about him. The Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Um, it's just another take on uh, from Lo Scarbio on um, the um, the classic uh, Rider Waite Tarot. But uh, apparently this person Wise has had their input into it. And uh, what I love about it, first of all, it's got a great container. I always feel like what I think of when I open these containers is if I got this as a gift, what would I think about it? And I think, well, this is very nice. When you get into the box, I mean, it gives you a hint right from the beginning what you're going to see. It's a close-up of the cards in kind of rich color with kind of a, a tinged uh, overtone to kind of give it an antique look, in my opinion. Anyway, the cards themselves, I'll go over, but I want to tell you first about the instruction booklet. And, you know, it's a typical instruction booklet that you get with any of these decks. It's in a few different languages, and it just gives you some basic uh, uh, meanings of how to divide the cards. But what's good about it and is that it gives you a really terrific uh, synopsis of uh, how uh, uh, this uh, uh, Rider weight uh, system was developed and when and by who. It talks a, a little enough about author weight and Pamela Coleman Smith, who were the creators of this and the Kabbalistic uh, theory and history of all of that. Um, it, is, it gives you a real quick mention about the Golden Dawn, which is very significant to the development of these cards. And then it gives you a really great little section about how to read the tarot and storytelling through the cards. So I like the little book. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. It's not information that most people don't know, but it is uh, interesting. Now, the cards themselves, they got a cool back. They're kind of shiny. And um, you're going to see that kind of what they are is like they've kind of made a close up of the typical tarot uh, images and then colored them in very vibrantly and then oversprayed the whole thing with sort of an antique kind of a, a feel. So they're great for me. I've got a few uh, vision problems, and so in that they're close up, but they're still vibrant with color. And I think these are going to look great on the camera. Uh, I like to uh, spread the cards out like this for a couple of reasons. One is it's a good way to show you uh, more than a couple of cards that you get to see in a typical tarot drawing. And that's something that I always wanted to see. I wanted to know more about what the cards I was looking at when I, before I was making the videos. And number two, it's a good way to um, shuffle the cards up without damaging them too much. And if you're reading for someone else, and there's a third uh, benefit, is that you can let someone else do this kind of spread around if they're not comfortable with making a shuffle. or, or And then you kind of get their energy into the cards. So this is the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. And I just like them a lot. So this will be my newest deck. Good old Jim Jordan, the high school, college wrestler become wrestling coach. And then somehow gets elected to government. That is amazing. Jim Jordan, Jim Jordan, Jim Jordan. You know, the, the one thing that's constant with so many of these, uh, these folks in government is that their government jobs are paying them much better than uh, their uh, whatever they could do if they weren't in government. You know? Um, so... What's the deal with Jim Jordan? Is he just always been this um, sneaky kind of guy? Uh, I think probably he has. But Jim Jordan, Jim Jordan. And I saw him on TV the other day trying to, the, the uh, reporter asked him, I forget which reporter it was, asked him uh, if he had spoken to Trump on the day of the insurrection. And he's like hemming and hawing and hopping around. And, and oh, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I talked to him every day. Yeah, probably I did. I mean, I, mean, I don't know when. I checked my notes. Jim Jordan. Jim Jordan. You should have uh, 
pursued that Juris Doctor a little more, maybe gotten your law degree and uh, tried to practice uh, lying in, in front of people. <laughs> so we got six cards for the Static Cross on Jim Jordan. One, two, three, four, five, six. This, these are the caliber of people that are teaching children. I mean, that's the um, the soft side of this, you know, that we don't see. Okay, teaching them fair play and honesty and a team player. Signifier for Jim Jordan, look at that. Team player, friendships, partnerships. Um, and this is the um, Two of Cups and uh, is always talking about, you know, maybe even taking an oath to, to do the right thing. And what I find interesting about these two partners is the looks on their faces are not like, let's be uh, in lovey-dovey partners. They look very stern and they almost look hesitant to, to join this partnership, keeping everyone at a, at a hands or an arm's length. So the signifier card is partnerships kind of at an arm's length. Uh, that's what he's about, partnerships at an arm's, arm's length. Now the challenge to that for Mr. Jordan is the Queen of Wands. You know, the Queen of Wands talk to uh, Wands always represent um, uh, fire, motion, action, planning, forward moving, and the Queen in this case is the is in charge of her her planning. She's she's the woman who knows how to make this plan happen, and that is the challenge to Jim Jordan's partnerships is a Queen of Wands. Uh, knowing how to get these plans moved forward. That's very interesting. Let's see if this gets better defined as we go a little bit further. And the basis of this reading then is the Four of Wands. Wands again, actions planning, uh, forward movement. And for me, the Four of Wands is always kind of smaller celebrations. So that brings to mind to me, uh, you know, little uh, triumphs that you have on the way to a bigger uh, goal. And uh, certainly his life has been that. I mean, he was uh, into wrestling as a young man. You've got to beat each opponent, each opponent as you go forward toward the next goal. But is that as far as he ever gets? Is he always just going to be delegated to the small victories? I mean, granted, he's in government. So that's a, a pretty big victory by most people's standards. But once you achieve that, that goal of, of celebrating that you've made it into government, then you want to keep moving forward. And it looks like he's probably stuck uh, where he is, uh, maybe for all of our good, um, that he can't go forward. The past of this reading then is the Knight of Cups. So for me, this is Jim Jordan showing that he has, you know, he does have an element of compassion. The cups are compassion, emotion, and uh, this uh, knight is uh, taking a moment, uh, you know, uh, almost before he goes forward across this river of emotion and passion here. But he is holding that uh, cup, that trophy, proudly in front of him. As if to say, look, look at how compassionate I am. Look at the trophies I've won. Look at this. And this is who I am. But is he really? In the sky of this reading, uh-oh, now we're coming into it. So this is the Five of Cups. Five of Cups, unmistakably, is always telling us that, listen, we've got some spilt milk here. We've got some stuff that we can grieve over. Take a minute and grieve over it. But don't forget to turn around and pick up what's behind you. And um, so this might be the out for Jim Jordan. I mean, this is a sky. So this is the highest you can hope for. And it may be that he could save himself if he turns around, picks up these couple of trophies he's got here, and continues on his journey. But let's see what uh, the outcome is of this first part for Mr. Jim Jordan right here. Likely outcome is, uh, ah, secrets being revealed. The one thing he doesn't want to happen over and over in his life there's been secrets he's been hiding he's been keeping under wraps but this moon card tells us yeah that they're going to crawl out of the water we're going to bay at the moon and we're going to see all the secrets that come uh, uh glittering down uh to earth now we're going to get the last four cards of this uh, celtic cross who is the self of jim jordan now, this is almost speak, spoken to uh, how he became who he is. So he started out recognizing partnerships were important. Uh, the Queen of Wands is kind of, uh, you know, being in charge of making these, these plans. Not quite the king, but a pretty strong queen. Little celebrations have sustained him along the way. He's held forth this trophy of compassion and said, look at who I am. But it looks like the highest he's going to be able to hope for is to pick up what he's got left so far and move on. And uh, before too many secrets are revealed. But the self, self, self of Jim Jordan right now, what is that? Okay, he's holding on. The Four of Pentacles is, uh, is you know, trying to uh, recognize your the worth that you have right now and keep it close to your bosom. 
okay? He's holding on to those uh, to his value that he's got right now. Uh, he's in the environment of what, though? Ah, he's in the environment of feeling trapped. So this Eight of Swords always um, uh, speaks to us of a feeling as if we're trapped and we can't move forward. We're scared. We're almost blind with fear to taking this step. But it looks like if he if he just uh, wiggles a little bit, he can loose these uh, binds, and he may find a way to kind of slip out of this issue. So that's the environment he's in. He's feeling like he's trapped, but if he op opened his eyes, he might be able to find a way to slip out of it. And wouldn't the truth be the best way to start to get out of your trouble? The um, the Surely that would have been something he would have counseled a, uh, a team to do. The hopes and the fears, hopefully that's what we would have, he would have counseled. The hopes and the fears still, this queen is coming back with the queen of cups, queen of compassion, and uh, she's very determined. Again, look at the face of this queen. She's not a... Uh, a uh, lily livered queen. She's taking this cup with both hands. She's putting it out there and saying, listen, I've got this for you and you can grab it. You can have a sip, but you're going to have to pay attention to the uh, passion and compassion that comes with it. The likely outcome of all of this for Jim Jordan then is, huh, Knight of Swords. So it looks like he has a chance to escape uh, claiming uh, justice here. And uh, it may very well be that that's who he uh, is, the guy that's always going to slip through the cracks. Interesting. Interesting reading on Jim Jordan. So it looks like he's been the luckiest guy. He's always been to sneak through, slide through. He has some talent. He has some strength, but it's never been quite enough to carry him to the very top. Although he's achieved an awful lot, who of you uh, has achieved what he has? I mean, you have to give a man his due. But however, he's fallen off the he's fallen off the wagon. He's gone the wrong way. And um, he starts out with a fellow who's always looking for the partnerships to get him to get him there. Um, the celebrations along the way are what are sustaining him, I believe. Um, he, in the sky of that reading, he's the uh, Five of Cups, which is telling us, look, you've lost some stuff. You better turn around, pick up what you got, and keep on going. And then the likely outcome for the whole thing is secrets being revealed. And uh, so that tells us a lot. For the self, we see that he's just holding on for dear life almost and he's not feeling comfortable at all he's feeling trapped but there's a way out for him it seems like there's always a way out for these people and the way out for him is uh to uh turn to the queen of compassion and say okay this is what's happened so if he would hold on to the truth perhaps and it looks like the outcome of him with this knight of swords swords are truth for me for me swords are always truth and justice and rules and so it could be that he becomes the knight of truth and justice i mean i just kind of doubt it but that's what this card means for me right now. You tell me what you think. It may be very different from what I what I just read. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.